Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.1. This is finally available to the public after five betas, and it's actually the same version as the public beta. So if you have the public beta, you're actually not going to get this as a download. So if you take a look at what we had here, it came in at 202 megabytes for me on one of my devices and over a couple gigabytes or a gigabyte and a half or so on another device. So it just depends what you're updating from and it can vary. Let's take a look at the build number. This build is 14B72C and that's the same build as beta 5 if you're on the plus size phones or it's the same number without the C on everything else. Now the major feature that it updates is portrait mode for the iPhone 7 Plus. So you get this portrait mode now and it creates kind of this blurred effect in the background. So if we go into the photo you'll see it's blurry and it looks pretty nice. So that's the major update and that's only for the 7 Plus. It won't be available for any of the other different devices and that's due to the dual camera on the back. Now there's a bunch of bug fixes as well though that they've included with this update. Any point one update is is pretty much a bug fix update and a minor feature improvement. So we now have people's names moving across to iCloud. So what that means is if you're in photos and you go back to albums, in here it says photo scan. If you have a bunch of faces in here with people's names, it now saves that across all of your different iCloud libraries. So now it won't have to scan it again. It makes it easy, but it should be encrypted as well. They've also display, improved the display of wider color gamut photos. So if you have a, a photo you've taken with a really nice camera or even the iPhone 7 camera and you have a wider color gamut display such as the 7 or 7 plus or an iMac display with the 5k retina display it should look really nice and vibrant they've also fixed an app a bug app in the app for camera when you open it and it would kind of flash or it would blur and crash they fixed that as well and they've also fixed an issue where the app would crash if you had iPhoto or iCloud photo library turned on as well so those are some major fixes for photos in the camera app. As far as maps goes, they've added some transit information in Japan, so that's great. For those in Japan, in Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, they've added some transit information for buses, trains, ferries, and subways. And then for everybody, they've added sign-based transit navigation with structures and walkways. They also allow you to compare fares across different routes. So if you're taking a route from one place to another and there's multiple available, you can see the different fares. I wasn't able to find that in here, there. In here though. Now, Messages gets a little bit of an update. So if you go into Messages and someone sends you a text effect or a message effect, you can just hit Replay and it will pop, get, pop in again and replay. It also... Sometimes it's a little slow though. It also fixes the issue when you had reduced motion on and you couldn't send those text effects. Now you can do that if reduced motion is on. So that's fixed as well. It also fixes when your messages go all white. So that's resolved as well. And it also fixes a bug when you send a video and audio doesn't work. So they've resolved that also. They've also fixed an issue where it gave you a junk option for unknown senders. Sometimes that would go away and they've seemed to repair that also. So that's a lot of fixes right up front. They've improved security as well. And then if you have an Apple Watch, as I do here, they've improved basically syncing between this and the iPhone as well. So that's improved as well. They've fixed all bunch of little issues that this has had. And there's also an update for the watch to 3.1. Now some of the minor fixes they've done, or it might be major if you have one of these bugs, is if you're using Bluetooth with third-party accessories or some vehicles such as BMW, there was connectivity issues, and those should be resolved now. So that's one good thing. Also, mirroring. AirPlay mirroring was pretty slow to the Apple TV. That should be improved. They've also fixed text in emails. So if you're in emails and the text is really small, it makes it normal size now, where it was misformatting HTML, things like that. They've also fixed a bug where the alarms would not go off on your alarm clock and fixed a bug where iCloud backups wouldn't restore. Now on older devices, they've improved speed and I haven't seen any speed issues with Beta 5 or with, with this particular version on my 7 Plus, but they've improved speed on some older devices so that should be a little bit faster for you. And there's other small bug fixes and security fixes as well. Now battery on Beta 5 was fine for me and it should be great on this one as well. I didn't have any issues, but let me know if you did in the comments below. 
and that's pretty much it there's other little tiny bug fixes and basically it's a tweak and a fix for most people so let me know what you think about ios 10.1 have you been using it for a while do you like it and also let me know if you found anything that i haven't mentioned here or apple hasn't mentioned also now as far as this sort of recording environment i'd love to hear what you think about recording outdoors and having the ambient sound in the background is it something you like you want to see more of or you don't like it at all i kind of like to change it up from time to time and like to see what you guys think of course i'll leave a link to the wallpaper in the description below and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time